Welcome to this yin yoga class focused on the upper back. We will start on all fours, so please come to a tabletop position. And you may want to pad your knees with a folded blanket if you have sensitive knees like me. So when you're in all fours, we will come into a thread the needle on the right side. So please reach your right arm up to the sky and then thread it underneath you onto your right shoulder and ear, lower down to the floor or to a block. Your left hand can stay pressing into the floor or you can slide your arm forward and overhead. A third option would be to place your left hand to your lower back like a half bind. Just play with the options and see which one you like best. And always remember to not swing your hips to one side more than the other. Try to keep them right over your knees. Here in this pose we're really focusing on twisting from the mid to upper back. And you might feel this in between your shoulder blades. If you had your left arm up overhead, slide it back down to press yourself back up. Back into tabletop. And then let's do the other side. This time your left arm reaches up to the ceiling. And then thread it underneath you to lower your left ear and shoulder either down to the floor directly or prop yourself up on a block or a cushion. We really don't want any tension in the neck and shoulders. And again, also choose if you want your right arm extended up overhead, 
I always find that the most comfortable position to hold this pose. Or you can press it in front of you or place it on your lower back. You might notice your hips wanting to lean more to the right here on this side. Try to keep them over your knees. If your right arm was extended overhead, slide it back down to press yourself back up to tabletop position. Let's do a few gentle rounds of cat and cow, so inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze and exhale, rounding the spine. Maybe take a few more breaths in your cat pose and then take a few more on your own. Please lower down onto your belly and you may need a block for this pose, so have that ready. We're going to thread the arms, right arm in front of the left one and cross them as far as is comfortable for you. And then you can rest your forehead down either on the floor or if that's not for you, you can lower it down onto a block or a pillow. So adjust and find a place that's comfortable and that you can easily hold.
Please make your way back up, unwind the arms and before doing the second side we'll do a swings pose in between with the elbows on the ground, directly underneath your shoulders. Keep your chin and chest elevated and think of not yanking your shoulders back but instead gently adjusting them so you feel tall and not rounding forward too much. So no fast or sudden movement, everything gentle and easeful. This is a great pose for your spine, but if you feel it pinching or any compression in your low back here, you can make it less intense by sliding your four forearms further out in front of you and you can widen the space between your heels. The wider they are, the less intense for your low back. So just play with it until you find your comfortable holding position. And for each and every one of us, it's different because we are all different and that's fine. Now coming into bow tie on the other side, this time left arm over the right one, palms facing up, crossing your arms as far as you can comfortably hold before lowering your head down on a block or the mat. Remember we don't want to go too far in yin. This is not about struggling or making it look a certain way. In yin yoga we want to feel some sensation, but one that we can comfortably hold without pain.
start to make your way back up and cross the arms and come into a tabletop position. Remove your block if you had it. And when you're in tabletop, you can make a cat back shape, cow pose, just to stretch that out or whatever feels comfortable for you, maybe leaning from side to side in your cat back. And then come to sit on your heels, taking a moment to notice how you feel after these few poses and what has shifted. Our last pose together will be an easy child's pose, keeping the knees close together and then folding over your knees, resting your head on the mat or maybe on a block or a pillow. Arms extend back behind you with the palms facing up. Let your upper body completely rest and let gravity do the work. And if this doesn't feel comfortable for you, your head or neck, you can rest it also onto your hands, stacked on top of each other. Just rest here and focus on your breathing.
Place your hands out in front of you to press yourself back up. Very slowly, head last thing to come up. To close this practice, we will come into a comfortable cross leg position or you could also stay kneeling if that's more comfortable for you. Bring your hands together in front of the heart. Thank yourself for making it to your mat today and for this practice. Bowing forward, Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me. If you like this class, make sure to leave a comment down below and share this video with a friend. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to support free yoga online. Thanks for practicing with me again. I'll see you on the mat.